Good morning. My name is Kim Martin, and welcome to another day in my life. I'm so glad you're here. My goal for this day is that you will enjoy your time spent here with me and that when you leave my channel, you will feel inspired and uplifted. Today's video is all about my daily routine, my morning routine, and my evening routine, and everything in between. <laughs> In just a moment of honesty, every single day looks a little bit different and is special and unique in its own way. Typically, my day starts bright and early. <laughs> Callan usually has me up between 6 and 7 in the morning, and today it was 6.45, he was bright-eyed and bushy-tailed. First thing in the morning, I will give him a bottle, and then him and I will just hang out for roughly an hour, just hanging out with each other. He's so happy in the mornings, and it's just my favorite time of the day. It's easy to feel guilty for wasting an entire hour of my morning just hanging out with him, but I decided it's the most important thing. And then after about an hour of awake time, Callan is ready for his morning nap. So I'll change his diaper and get him all swaddled and ready for bed. And of course, make sure his sound machine is turned on. <laughs> Just for fun, why don't you count how many times I kiss my baby in this video and leave your answer below in the comments. Callan sleeps in his bassinet in our bedroom at night, but during the day he takes all of his naps in his crib. And we've been working on teaching him to put himself to sleep. So we put him in his crib, swaddled, and after a few minutes he will put himself right to sleep. It took hours and hours and days and days to teach him to be able to do this, but as you can see, he put himself right to sleep. Sleep good, Callan. Once Callan is asleep, then I'll get myself ready for the day. I will wash my face, brush my teeth, and then I'll comb my hair and put my veiling on. People often ask me, now that I'm a mom, when do I have my quiet time and my devotions? And this is my quiet time. I will listen to worship music, I'll listen to a YouTube devotional or an audiobook that I'm going through or a podcast that's uplifting. And this is my me time. And then it's time to start my morning routine. So first of all, I will start my washer. I normally load this the night before, so all I have to do is close the lid and turn it on, and I've already got to jump on my day. Now is when I normally would make my bed, but today I needed to wash the bedding, so I got everything off the bed and ready to be washed. The next thing I will do is empty my dishwasher. I typically load it and run it overnight, so that first thing in the morning, all I have to do is empty it, and then um, throughout the day I can put my dirty dishes directly in the dishwasher. Talon has been sleeping since roughly eight o'clock. Um, and so at 9.45, I'll get him up and feed him again. But um, until then, hopefully I have a little bit of time to work on some YouTube stuff and um, get caught up a little bit <laughs> on some editing. And most of you are probably like, are you not gonna eat breakfast? Um, I'm gonna eat breakfast. I just, I do not eat breakfast like first thing in the morning. It, it always makes my stomach feel weird. <laughs> and I know you guys are gonna be like, it's the most important meal of the day. Yeah, I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll probably eat something later on. But for now, um, I wanna just, yeah, I get started on some YouTube stuff and we'll think about food later. <laughs> but thank you for being here and I hope you enjoy seeing a day in my life with a little baby. <laughs> and um, I hope you enjoy seeing my like morning and night routine and kind of just how my days have been looking now that I have a little baby. <laughs> At 45 I woke Callan up from his nap to feed him. He's seriously such a happy baby now that we have him scheduled and we're working on some sleep training. He's just such a happy baby. And I know scheduling and sleep training it isn't for everyone but it really has been working for us and for me as a mom specifically giving me time to work on things that are important to me and having a happier baby in the first few weeks. Um, they were slightly rough. He 
yeah, he just took naps when he wanted to, he would get overtired, he would be crabby, and now that he's scheduled, he just takes good naps, he's happier, and it has just changed the game for me. And if you've ever wondered what a work-at-home mom looks like, this is it. I edit and upload most of my videos exactly like this, holding my baby. <laughs> Okay, so actually I just turned off the camera. I was just feeding Callan and working on my computer and I didn't want to make you guys sit through all of that. So um, I finished feeding Callan and he hung out in his baby swing and under his baby gym for a while while I finished editing. And then I put him back down for his nap at about 10.45. So I've started doing like one load of laundry um, every day. You know how I said like I load the washer in the evening and then the next morning I just start it. Um, I've been trying to get in the habit of doing that every night and then just running like one load every day. Um, and then I don't have like one humongous laundry day that feels like that's all I do. Um, and today I'm folding laundry from yesterday because I didn't have time. But And like today I'm doing our bedding and sheets and stuff. Usually the bedding would happen on a separate day except I'm going to be gone Thursday of this week. So I'm not going to have a chance to do the bedding on Thursday so I'm just gonna do it today um, and get that over with for the week. I know for some people that works better to just have like a set day that you know you do laundry um, but for me it's easier if I just like add it to my daily routine do a load every day I don't know it just kind of helps keep my brain somewhat organized. <laughs> So here's a little bit of an update on our kitchen. We just got these shelves put in two days ago, I think. Um, Daryl told me I probably shouldn't set anything on them because he hasn't had a chance to like secure them completely, but I couldn't help myself. <laughs> anyway, um, we decided to put shiplap in um, behind the shelves and then now we just have to like touch up the paint. Like in this corner here, you can see the paint. Um, yeah, it's still, is outlined from where the old trim used to be. Anyways, we have to paint the trim, we have to paint the um, shiplap. Then I think we are finished over here. I love how these shelves turned out. I can't wait to decorate them. And it is 12.45, so it's time for Callan to be up for another feeding. I absolutely love lifting him out of the crib because he always scrunches his little legs up and just cuddles right in. <laughs> It's my favorite thing. So I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about whether or not I'm nursing. So it's kind of an entirely long story. I'll be telling you a little bit more about that when I share my postpartum video. Um, ever since he was born, um, while I was nursing and um, I had to switch to formula then for a while, um, he would always like cry during his feedings. I don't know, I didn't really know what was going on. He did it when he was nursing. Um, he would cry through that. Nothing was working. He was just crying and crying. He would not take very good naps. He, he was just not doing super great. Um, and so finally I switched over to an organic um, goat milk formula. A friend of mine told me to try it. She highly recommended it. And so I was like, I'm gonna give it a shot. I was kind of at my wit's end because yeah, nothing was really working. That formula changed the game for Callan um, and for me. <laughs> um, he was just like instantly like a different baby. He wouldn't cry during feedings. Um, he used to like throw up a lot. He does not do that nearly as often. He still spits up like any baby does, but he does not like throw up like he used to. Um, he takes good naps, he sleeps good at night, he's so happy. So I am very, very thankful that we found something that is working for us. Um, I know not everyone is a huge fan of organic goat milk formula, but it has definitely worked for him. He is just a different baby and it has made my life so much easier. <laughs> the brand I'm using is, not sure how it's pronounced, I think it's, it's spelled H-O-L-L-E, I think it's pronounced Halle. I don't know, I probably butchered that, but anyways, that's the brand I'm using. I'll put a picture here on the screen for you. It's about 12.45, I woke him up from his nap to feed him. 
Um, and so after he finishes his bottle here, um, I'm gonna pack him in the car seat and we are gonna go run some errands. I'm gonna stop at the coffee shop um, to pick some stuff up. I'm going to um, probably get lunch there. I need to get groceries, but I talked to Daryl and he really wants to go grocery shopping with me this evening. It's still our favorite thing to do for a date night is to go grocery shopping together. And that has not changed just because we have a baby. Um, I think I'm gonna wait and do that with him this evening. I'm gonna try a brand new recipe that I got on Pinterest for supper. Yeah, so stick around for that. I'm excited to see how it goes. Um, gonna stretch. <laughs> oh, he's such a cute baby. <laughs> okay, I just left the coffee shop and I grabbed some lunch. I have to run into Martin's really quick. Um, there it is. I just needed like a few things to make supper tonight. Um, so I'm gonna run in here super quick. acting kind of hungry. I think I'm gonna feed him and then just lay him down for a nap right away. I don't really want him to start needing a bottle every time he's supposed to take a nap so I normally don't do that but I think I'm gonna just give him a bottle and put him down for a nap because he's so tired. Main Street. Main Street Roasters gifted this to Callie. I think this is three to six months, so he can't wear this like right now, but he sent me this Main Street Roasters t-shirt. It's literally so comfortable. Um, this is available online um, and in store. And this is actually a new design that they have available on their website. These t-shirts are so comfortable. Um, and then they sent me a bunch of coffee. Some Ethiopian coffee, um, the espresso blend. This is seriously my favorite coffee. This stuff is so amazing. This is just the Main Street blend, and they also sent the Jamaican Me Crazy, which I actually haven't tried from Main Street, so I'm really excited about that. And then a cup, a Yeti cup. I feel like my husband is gonna claim this and um, take it to work with him, but anyway, so. So yeah, I just kinda wanted to show you guys what I got. And to tell you, I still have an active discount code to get some of these items. All this stuff is available on their website. I will link their website in the description box and don't forget to use the code KIM10 and you can get 10% off of your order. And I'm serious, just order this coffee once, give it a try, you will be hooked for life. Callan appears to be sleeping, so I think I'm gonna go mow the lawn. Mowing our lawn is literally like a three hour job, so I'm gonna get started on it, but I'm assuming I won't get it all done. My husband will probably have to finish it this evening, but um, I'm gonna get a little bit done. Hopefully help him out a little bit. Um, if he has to do the entire lawn after work, it just takes up the whole evening. So anyways, I'm gonna try and get some of it done. I have to go in and make supper here in a little bit, so I'm probably not gonna get a whole lot done, but. recipe up on my computer because I am filming on my phone so you gotta do what you gotta do. Do you have any idea how bad I want a vlogging camera? Can you believe I still haven't bought a vlogging camera? I know, shocking. Do you want to know the main reason why I haven't bought a vlogging camera is because I cannot decide which one I want. When I actually do 
buy a vloggy camera. I kind of want it to be one that I'm gonna like love. I don't know which one I want. I cannot decide, so. Okay, this is what we're making. We're making garlic butter, chicken, and potatoes. Doesn't that look amazing? Mine is actually not gonna look like that because instead of buying the little yellow potatoes, I actually just dug some potatoes from my garden, which are gonna taste better anyway. I think I'm just gonna cube them. Anyways, let's get started. As if cleaning my kitchen up was really that easy. But anyways, we were gonna run to the store and get groceries this evening, but it's literally such a beautiful night. Um, I think we're gonna take Callan on a walk instead, and then I'm gonna hopefully finish mowing this evening, and I think we're just gonna stay close to home this evening. covered in grass but anyways I just got done mowing the rest of the lawn and it took me another like hour and a half if you think the backyard is huge you should literally see the front lawn but for privacy reasons I'm not gonna show you the front lawn but anyways I'm kind of worn out but I'm gonna go inside and get started on my evening routine Callan's gonna be up and ready to eat again pretty soon then we're gonna put him to bed so yeah I'm gonna go get started on all of that because I actually have quite a bit to do this evening yet so <laughs> let's go So jumping right into my evening routine, I folded the last of the laundry for the day and collected the load of laundry for tomorrow. I have the washer all ready and loaded for tomorrow morning. I will make Callan's bottles for the next morning just to like help me out in the morning so I don't have to be running around getting bottles first thing in the morning. And he is sleeping through the night at this point but I do like to have the bottles ready just in case he would like wake up during the night and be hungry then I would have a bottle all ready to go. By this time in the evening Callan was needing to be up and be fed so Daryl went and got him out of the crib and fed him. Daryl really likes to do some of the um, evening feedings because he doesn't get to be with Callan all day long because he's at work so he helps out so much in the evenings um, just taking care of Callan and spending time with him which is something I absolutely love and I always want it to be a part of our routine. While Daryl is feeding Callan, I will get out a clean burp cloth, I will get out his pajamas, I'll get a clean diaper, just some things that I'm going to need to give him a bath so he's ready for bed. And then I will go start running his bath water and just get everything ready for him to have a bath before bed.
I give Callan a bath every evening as part of his bedtime routine. Babies need structure and routine and he absolutely loves bath time. It is just his favorite thing. He gets so happy and talkative. Have a good bath. I always love brushing the tiny amount of hair that he does have. <laughs> oh, and then Daryl will feed him just a little bit more just to top him off right before bed. Callan's bedtime is around 8.30, but tonight it had gotten a little bit later than I liked, so it was closer to 9, but he still went to sleep with no trouble at all. As I said earlier, he only sleeps in our room in his bassinet at night, and that is working so good for us because he knows when he's in his bassinet that he's going to sleep for a long period of time, and it's nighttime, and it's just working really well for us. Once Callan is asleep, I'll finish up the last of my evening routine. I'll load my dishwasher and start it so that it's ready to go for tomorrow morning, and then I will pick up any cluttery items that are just laying around. I cannot stand going to sleep with my house even slightly cluttered. Then I'll sweep the floor and it's time for bed. Thank you for spending today with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing just kind of what our lives consist of now that um, we have a little baby and I finally have my routine back. I finally have a morning routine. I have an evening routine again. Um, those first few weeks right after he was born, there was no rhyme or reason to anything. <laughs> um, so it feels so good to have the structure in my life again. Have an amazing day, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.